Yeehaw soldiers, it's your boy the MSH coming to you in our video, and this is with Naruto the Saiyan Part 6. Well, here's another part so to the series, so let's get into this. This video is sponsored by Viva Halo. If you want some nice looking MA and Mirror Pearl or clothing, this is a site for you. You can also use code MEME for 5% orders of 49 plus stars, RP code MEME, and code MEME for 10% of orders of 49 plus stars, RP code MEMES. Also, you buy stuff there, all supports me, so go check out Viva Halo, their links will be in the description. I apologize that I've been gone for around a week and a couple days. I kind of fell ill at first. I was building my first PC, and then I just kind of got demotivated because I fell ill. But now I'm back, so yeah, I'm gonna be making up the content that I, you know, kind of missed out on that while I was out. So I guess stay tuned for that. But tomorrow, you guys should be getting a discussion video, and you know, yeah, I think you guys are really gonna like it. Anyways, um, I also have some other videos such as, again, Nuclear Naruto Part 3, Part 2 with Deku as Spider-Man's powers, and one more thing, it's a Jujutsu Kaisen content, specifically why I think that anime will be anime of the year, so get hyped for that. Anyways, so watch the community tab like a hot as you guys get updates, pull the ability to select what would you want for the week, and some more fun stuff in between, so, so again, watch the community tab like a hawk. Check out my Patreon, and some nice rewards you can get to support me financially, so the link's out in the description. And also go check my Twitch. I do stream over there. I streamed a podcast episode yesterday, and I will release a podcast episode along with the one from last week sometime today. So, yeah, that should be fun. And again, again, go check my Twitch. The link to that, to that again is in the description. So, yeah. Anyways, time for a quick social media plug. Twitter is at MSH4. Instagram is at my underscore stage 4. And, of course, join my Discord server. I'll give you all reasons to follow slash donuts at the end of the video. So, watch until the end. All right, time for your checklist. If you haven't seen the last part, the link's out in the description. And if you haven't seen this series at all, check out the playlist. With all the way, let's get right into the story. It's now time to get into a training time skip with Naruto over the past two to three years. Naruto will be trained with Drive for, I guess, he's like two and a half to three years, like in canon. And he's definitely going to get stronger because he has to fight not only the Akatsuki, but also the Saiyans in a couple years for now. So what is Naruto going to learn? Well, he will learn a couple power juice, such as Dark Gain Rasen Shuriken very early. And it will upgrade into more powerful version of Rasen Shuriken because of his key. So might as well call this the Rasen Demon Shuriken, if you remember the Demon Wind Shuriken from, you know, the Land of Waves arc. Anyways, Naruto will also acquire some more juices that upgrade into more powerful juices because of his key. This includes one of my favorite juices of all time, more specifically a custom jutsu. You know it, you love it, you meme it. It is called Wind Style Ho-Oh. However, this jutsu has to be upgraded into more powerful juices, so we're going to call this Mega Ho-Oh. Why call it Mega Ho-Oh? Because memes, lots and lots and lots of memes. Also, it'd be really cool if Ho-Oh actually got a Mega Evolution low-key, though Pokemon probably won't do that, but, you know, whatever. Naruto would also create some of his own key techniques on his own, and I'll go over all of them later when the time is right. You know, when he has a fight or something like that, you know? Or maybe not, because he might not need them until he faces off against the Saiyans, because if you know anything about Vegeta and Nappa, they're pretty powerful in the Saiyan Saga. And while Vegeta has gotten exp exponentially stronger since the Saiyan Saga, and, you know, in DBZ, and of course, Dragon Ball Super, and Nappa has, you know, kind of been outclassed by everything that's appeared since you know, the Saiyan Saga, you know, guys like Frieza, Cell, and all those guys, they are still really powerful, especially in this universe, so, yeah. Naruto will also be trying to get into sealing as well, like his father, and in order to eventually become a seal master like his father. Naruto will get further into the education sealing, and will eventually get into the Flying Thunder God, or the Hiroshin, and will be around halfway into the steps to learn it by the time the training time skip is over. Naruto is also working on tapping into the power of the fox, as Naruto could utilize that against not only the Akatsuki, but also the Saiyans, and if Nine Tails was the primary reason he unlocked the false Super Saiyan transformation, then it might be a good idea to start using that power more, or at least somewhat control it. Naruto, however, will be in a bit of a bind as he's kind of having trouble doing that, so he will talk with Nine Tails multiple times. Nine Tails does see Naruto as a powerful ninja, but he really does not like humans, so that makes things a bit difficult for Naruto. One day, Naruto will be in a bit of a meditation session with the fox. And Naruto will say, I don't know why you won't agree to give me more power when there's going to be invasion in a couple of years with these Saiyan guys. Kurama will say, You are a human, and I have not had a good experience with humans. Naruto will say, Technically half human, half alien, but go on. Kurama will say, Why should I help humans when they're the reasons for my suffering? You may be half alien, but you are still human after all. But I do agree with you on one thing. And that these Saiyans are a massive threat to this planet, and as much as I hate humans, these Saiyans seem to be more annoying than humans, so I do want to beat them. Naruto will say, I do want you to prove to you that humans are not that bad, but at the same time, that seems to be next to impossible based on your circumstances. How about we work together until these Saiyans are defeated? You want to like me, and I want to, to like you, but we have an agreement just to take down these Saiyans, and we don't have to, again, like you start in the process. Deal? Karma thinks for a bit and says, Interesting. 
I've never given this type of offer before. All right, deal. Naruto smiles and cannot wait to see what this journey will hold for him because he now has a fox on his side, even if it is just a bit of a temporary agreement. Meanwhile, back in Leaf Village, Ino is getting her medical training done. She has been trained with Tsunade, as I said in the last part, and she's progressing very well. Ino will also get a couple of Yamanaka techniques, as well as some fire jutsu as well, so there's a nice positive there. Sasuke himself has been trained with Itachi, and his Shrinkan prowess is, of course, going to go through the roof, because it's Itachi. Not only this, but Sasuke will also get some proper fire jutsu as well, and will expand on his lighting jutsu re repertoire. Sasuke will also look into accessing all the other nature transformations as well because Sharingan or stuff like that. Which means Sasuke is not going to be fully left behind in this time skip at all, especially by the likes of Naruto. Sasuke would also take on a sword during this time skip as well because he kind of wants to be more like his brother, since he actually likes him because he's in Murr's entire clan, you know, in this canon. Again, good things happen when Minato stays alive in alternate realities. Speaking of Minato, our other main protagonist in this one, he's trained very hard over the next two and a half to three years. He kind of creates his own key techniques like Naruto during his time skip, and like Naruto, I'll save those for later. Minato will think to himself, I hope Naruto will be strong enough for the fight when he returns. With how powerful he is, the Akatsuki are not going to be that much of an issue. Roshu is with these Saiyans. This is going to be the fight for our world. Not for myself, not for Naruto, not for the village, but for the entire world. It's imperative that I am ready to face these Saiyans for the fate of the world is in mine and Naruto's hands. Minato thinks for a bit and just smiles. I know my son will be ready when the time comes, which is why I don't want him catching up. And with those words, Minato will undergo intense training for the next two and a half to three years. Back to Naruto, Naruto will also be traveling to other environments and villages over the next couple of years as well, in addition to his train of course, while Jirai does his thing, I guess, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> Naruto will be pretty amazed by the sights he sees, because while he has been outside the village, he hasn't been this outside the village, if you know what I'm saying. It's like someone going from having experience to of only traveling to New York, to traveling to multiple places like Jamaica, Greece, and other countries slash islands in between. You are going to have a different perspective on life if you've done a lot of traveling versus someone who doesn't really travel at all. So there is that experience, I guess. As the train time skip comes to a close, Jirai will one day say to Naruto, Naruto, you have become very strong over the past couple of years. I have no doubts that you will not only crush the Akatsuki, but also crush the Saints with your father. Naruto will say, thank you. Jirai sensei. Jirai will say, however, just because you've progressed a lot, don't let that tell you that you can just underestimate your enemies. On one hand, you have the Akatsuki, who consists of very powerful shinobi that have their own various abilities, and would give most Kage a run for their money. On the other hand, you have these Saiyans, whom Raditz said are more powerful than he was, and might have gotten stronger, who knows. And that is the biggest problem with these Saiyans. We don't know how strong they are until they come to Earth. So be prepared for anything, Naruto. Naruto will say, I will. I will beat this Akatsuki group, and I will beat these Saiyans. Jirai smiles, happy about how far his soon has come. And a little while later, Jirai and Naruto will make their return to the village, as both of them head towards the village gate. Naruto cannot wait to see his old friends again, and is excited to see what his future holds for him. Meanwhile, we see the Akatsuki for tomorrow and Danso getting to work as they start their plans of capturing all Chinchuriki in the world, extracting all the Bijou, and of course, you know, eventually send us the Ten Tails. Or tomorrow when the Akatsuki group will say, It begins now. Meanwhile, we see the pods in space that contain two Saiyans heading towards Earth. They're again ready to invade the Earth and will look to fight these two Saiyans that were able to beat Raditz. Anyways, Naruto will meet Ino after a couple of years, and when Ino sees her boyfriend, she'll go up to him and kiss him because she has missed Naruto. Naruto will blush and Naruto will say, It's good to see you, my flower. Ino will blush a bit and she looks at Naruto and sees he has transformed quite a bit. Naruto sees the same for Ino, so that's there, I guess. <laughs> they still love each other, though the love is kind of closer because they're a bit older, if you get what I'm saying. If you don't see someone for a couple of years, you might not have that same connection because you haven't seen either your friend or girlfriend slash boyfriend after a couple of years. Here, not really, as Ino and Naruto still have that connection, and both of them are definitely attracted to each other still and they still have that same love from three years ago but with way more hormones involved i guess you know <laughs> anyways naruto will want to see his father again but first he will see sasuke after a couple of years and both sasuke and naruto will just fist bump sasuke will say so did you get any stronger because if not i can handle saiyans for you naruto smiles will say oh don't worry about that i'm so strong i could beat several kage on my own sasuke will smile and is very glad to see his friend again Naruto will head into Hokage's office and is very glad to see his father, as both of them hug. Naruto will say, It's been a while, Dad. Minto smiles and says, It has. You've grown so much, my son. Naruto smiles and says, You bet. Those saints won't know what hit them. I'll see Akatsuki, but I think the saints might be a bigger concern because our world could be destroyed. Minto will say, 
hey, the Akoski are after you, so they are definitely a threat. But then again, I think two Planet bu Busters coming to Earth is definitely a problem. Naruto will nod. Kakashi will appear, and Naruto is happy to see him as well. Kakashi will talk about how much his former gang have grown since the first bell test, and will test all of them to see how you know far they've come. Except Naruto, because he'll be tested by Minato, because that's pretty fair since both Minato and Naruto are Saiyans. Essentially, Minato and Kakashi will give their students the old bell test, but of course Kakashi will take Ino and Sasuke to a different training ground, because the power of Naruto and Minato is probably going to be a bit too powerful for both Ino, Kakashi, and Sasuke, and also for the training ground, so yeah. Let's start with Sasuke and Ino. Ino will show off her super strength that she's acquired from her chakra control, while Sasuke will show off his own fire jutsu against Kakashi. Kakashi is impressed with these two so far, as they're definitely a lot stronger than before. Both Sasuke and Ino are doing very well against Kakashi, but Kakashi is still Kakashi, and that means he's very hard to catch. However, Ino and Sasuke have a secret weapon, the Mako Tactics Book. Naruto tell them before the test that they are having trouble getting Kakashi to use the Mako Tactics Book against Kakashi, as he would still give as a gift to him because there's nothing that will stop Kakashi from being a pervert. Nothing at all. So Ino and Sasuke will use the same tactic against Kakashi that Naruto and Sakura use against the Mitchell Cannon, and they're able to get the bells. Simple enough, easy money, I guess. Now let's go to the fight you all want to see, Minato versus Naruto. Minato says he will not make this easy for Naruto, and Naruto will say, Brain on. Naruto and Minato will clash, and they will both get into a clash unlike anything seen before, as this battle between not only two shinobi, not only two Saiyans, but also father and son. Should be fun. Naruto and Minato will exchange multiple punches and kicks, and Minato will try to grab Naruto, but Naruto will disengage. Minato will try to hit Naruto, but Naruto will just dodge. Naruto knows he cannot really afford to get hit by Minato, as a strike from him would, you know, hurt a lot. Naruto will dodge and attempt to strike from Minato, but then Minato uses her option, and Naruto gets sent flying by a kick. Naruto felt that really, really bad, and knows he has to do something because he can't afford to take hits like that, you know? While Minato is not necessarily making things easy for Naruto, Minato is kind of holding back because he's Minato. Minato would probably kill Naruto if he ever proved to be a threat to the earth, but since he's his son, I mean, you wouldn't kill your son, right? <laughs> Anyways, Naruto will launch himself, and Minato will take the hit from Naruto, and it kind of hurts a lot for him. Minato praises Naruto for landing a direct hit on him, and then Naruto smiles, but Minato will launch himself towards Naruto and will land his own direct hit on him. Naruto feels the impact of that hit by a lot. Naruto will try to strike back and will keep going after the bell. Minato will say, come on Naruto, show me everything you've learned. Naruto will decide the time is now to fire off a Ross and Demon Shuriken. He fires off and Minato will dodge it and then Naruto will then punch Minato and Minato will feel that punch by a little bit and Naruto will kick Minato down to the ground. Minato will be able to stop himself from being slammed onto the ground but Naruto will then kick Minato again but will be blocked and there's a bit of force that pushes Minato back a little bit towards the ground, and then a Shadow Clone will all of a sudden go after Minato and the bell he has, and Minato will smack the real Naruto and then destroy the clone. Naruto will launch himself towards Minato once again, this time he lands a punch to the face, but Minato will throw Naruto to the ground, and then it will kick him in the stomach so hard, you would have thought Minato was Endeavor. Naruto will call upon some of the Ninetales power, and will smack Minato around for a bit, which will surprise Minato. Minato will get smacked by into a tree, and Naruto will send a clone after his bell, but Minato will, you know, stop the clone dead in his tracks. Minato will say, is that all you got? Naruto smiles and says, far from it. All of a sudden, Shadow Clones pop out from nowhere and will fire off Rasengan Blast at Minato. Minato will fly up but will then be smacked in the face by Naruto back into the tree. Naruto launches himself towards the bell and Minato will see this and he has to commend his son for doing so well. However, he will not lose to his own son. Minato uses her Roshin yet again, however, Naruto Kone will fire off another Rasengan Blast as he, you know, reappears. Minato will dodge but then sees another Rasengan Blast and will have to dodge that one as well. And then all of a sudden, Naruto punches him in the face again and while he's doing this, will go for the bell again. Minato will begin a punch of his own, but Naruto sees this and punches Minato in the stomach. Minato will feel the blow and Naruto will reach for the bell once again, but Minato will roar and that will send him flying. Naruto will say, you really are strong, dad. Minato says, and you progress so much, son. Naruto says, this ends now. Minato says, I agree, show me what you've got. Naruto will go for a headbutt on Minato, and Minato will feel that, and then Naruto will go for the bell, but Minato will smack him down again. Naruto will get more powerful than Ninetales, and Naruto will use that fox hand to smack Minato down, and Minato will feel more hits from Naruto as well, and he as he goes for an assault. Naruto will smack Minato again and again, but Minato will strike back after taking all that punishment. Naruto will clones will try to fire off her Sengon Blast again, but Minato will blast him away. However, Naruto will fight back and will strike Minato in the stomach once again, and Naruto will go for the bell. 
Naruto will say, I win, and will use the fox hand to slam Minato down to the ground again, and this proves to be the nail in the coffin, as Naruto, with that final slam, will be able to grab the bell. Naruto passes his test, and Minato is very proud of his son, and Naruto has definitely improved a lot over the past couple of years. Minato will think that since Naruto has become so much stronger, now it's time to make him a Jonin. When Naruto hears this, Naruto is pumped and is, and is, you know, pretty happy, I guess. Later on, Naruto will go on a date with Ino for the first time in, like, three years, and it goes pretty well, so they're attempting to pick up where they left off in the relationship two to three years ago. First one, then Kasuki will begin their plans to hunt down the tail beast like in canon, and they will start off with Gara. Daedara and Sasuke will go after Gara like in canon, and will kidnap Gara like in canon. Tensei will be sent after Gara to retrieve him, and they will, you know, that will go the same like in canon until we reach the clone battle, because instead of a Tauji for the one clone battle, it is with Urshimaru. But those clones will be destroyed pretty easily because, you know, Naruto is a Saiyan and stuff like that, so, yeah. And because of this, Naruto will be able to reach the sealed door of where Gar is being, you know, strained and stuff like that of his tail beast. And when Nar Naruto go up to the sealed door and just blast away the rock with a key blast, and they'll be able to grab Gara just in time before he has his whole tail beast, you know, extracted out of him. Naruto will fly away, but Data will chase after him on, on his, you know, explosive bird. You know, and Chia will fight Sasori like in canon, and Sasuke and Kakashi will help back up Naruto. And this one as well, I don't think Minato has sent Team Guy because of how powerful his son is in his canon. And because of the confidence and the abilities of Naruto, and also even the confidence of, of guys like Kakashi, Sasuke, and Ino, I think Team Guy will take a bit of a back seat here. And they never really did much in the actual Kaze Kage rescue mission except fight themselves so i think this is fine anyways for the Eno and sasori fight i think that will go the same like it did with sakura though Eno would probably use a couple of fire juice throughout the fight so i guess that's a bit different but i think this would end the same way because i think Eno would do the same stuff sakura did in original canon so Eno and chio will take it up here and that's all as sasuke is in the village now for tomorrow so there's no need to get information from sasori back to naruto naruto will grab gara as data will chase after him but naruto will fire off some key blasts and will knock data off his bird Naruto will see Kakashi and Sasuke and will give, you know, Gara's unconscious body to them, and he will fight Dator himself. Naruto will charge with a key beam himself, and Dator will see this and wonders what move is this. Naruto will say, Yellow Flash Fire! Naruto fires off a beam and Dator will try to dodge it, but half of his body will be caught in the beam and it will destroy half of his body. However, it was a clay clone and Dator seems to have gone somewhere else. They will fire off some spire clay explosive fangs, I guess, whatever you want to call them, but Naruto will dodge it and will go after Dator again and will hit Dator a couple of times and will continue to beat up Dator and throw him around like a ragdoll. Naruto will fire off another yellow flash fire, but Dator will counter with his own explosions. However, this will not work as the beams will overpower the explosions that Dator will try to unleash and it will strike Dator. When smoke clears, it seems that Dator has been fully destroyed. However, Dator did survive using another clay clone. This time over, Dator will want to escape because he knows he cannot beat Naruto, and he does so. Since Naruto and Kami were able to save Gara, as he didn't lose his tailbeast entirely, he lost around 8%. He's kind of somewhat alive, but he's very weak, which prevented him from doing any form of Kakage duties, and he'll probably die a little bit later on because he's so weak, so yeah, that's a bit of a problem. So Chio, just like in the original canon, will sacrifice his health and in order to save Gara, and we will now move back to Yakoski afterwards. Hearing about how strong Naruto has become over the years is absolutely terrifying for these Yakoski members, as Naruto seems to surpass any of their shinobi, and he could very well stop them from achieving their goals, which is not fun for them at all. This means that there will have to be an all-out war against Naruto, but they may not have to because of a couple of pods that are approaching Earth. And we'll get to those pods in a minute, but for now, Naruto and Gara will, you know, they'll catch up a bit, talk to each other and stuff like that, and then eventually Team 7 will head back to the Leaf Village, where they're congratulated by Minato for all their hard work and stuff like that, and you know, that makes Naruto happy, you know, happy, Sasuke happy, everyone's happy, I guess, you know, but what's about to happen is not going to be fun for them because, as I just mentioned, there are going to be some pods that are heading towards Earth. In fact, after around a week or two, the pods end up laying on Earth. They'll land, once they, they will land near the Leaf Village and Minato will see this and knows that it is time. He will call upon Naruto, and Naruto will race over with his father. Naruto and Minato will reach the location, and out of the pods will step out two individuals. These two individuals are the Saiyans that Rise talked about, and these Saiyans could prove to be the end of the Earth if they are not stopped. Naruto and Minato will get ready to fight as the battle for Earth begins. One of the Saiyans will see Naruto and Minato, in and this one has spiky hair, and this guy will say, Are you the two Saiyans that beat Raditz? 
and both Naruto and Mianto will nod, and then the Saiyans will get excited as they are ready for a challenge. Mianto and Naruto will ask for their names, and the spiky-haired Saiyan will say, My name is Vegeta, the Prince of All Saiyans. And then a bald-headed Saiyan will say, And my name is Nappa. And with that, the fight for the whole world will begin. How it all play out? Find out next time on Naruto Ball Z. Thank you for watching part 6 of what Naruto was saying. We have now gone through a bit of part 2 of Naruto. And I think we will probably reach the end of this series in a couple parts. Unless I do a couple spin-offs of this. Which I do have some ideas for, but you know. Who knows? Anyways, I do apologize again for, you know, this coming up a bit later and stuff like that. Well, actually, a lot later I, because I was, you know, out for a week. So, yeah, I'm, again, I re I'm sorry again I did not release this, like, like around when I should have. But I, again, kind of had a bit of a burnout going on. So, again, I just had to, like, take the week off. But I do promise I'm back and I'm going to provide you guys with a lot more content, such as again the sketch music I plan and a couple reviews, some what ifs in between, like what if deck with Spider-Man's powers, and of course, you know, what if nu Naruto nuclear release, and maybe some new stuff in between. Anyways, you know, get ready for all that stuff, as I just said, so yeah, get be prepared. Anyways, also watch me keep in top like a hawk, that's very important. Check out BV Halo, that really does help me out. And finally, follow my Twitter for no way to get notified my videos, Instagram for me, and some more fun stuff in between. And finally, join my Discord server for access to elementary content, notification live stream ahead of time, and of course, the ability to send me ideas directly. Since these are all ways for you guys to interact with me, follow me on Twitter and Instagram, and join my Discord server. Shout out to my $10 patrons, their names are on screen, and my fit our patron anguish. If you want to support and get rewards to shout outs like these, go to my Patreon, which is linked in the description. And we're actually getting closer to 23k because even after I was out for a week, I, I still had some nice sub growth. So let's get to 23k and then 24k and beyond. Let's get there, I guess. <laughs> and that's all I have to say. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, turn notifications, and share the video. This has been your boy, the Amy Sage, sign out. Peace. Yorta, Sunshine, close us out. Bye bye. Peace. Hi, this is Stephanie Shea, voice actress for Sailor Moon, Hinata, Orihime, and you are watching Anime Sage. <laughs>